Good morning, good YouTube people. Captain Lope coming in with you this morning. Uh, nice cool morning out. It's been getting nice during the day though. The other day when I went out diving, the only thing that I brought home was this big box of uh, Halloween style envelopes. That was it. That was the only thing I got. But today, oh, I got a big box of Halloween cards. Just a huge huge box of Halloween cards. haven't really looked at them all yet. I imagine they're all Halloween. There might be some other occasions in there. Probably all Halloween though. A lot of them though. So I got the envelopes to go with those. At this store I found out they they usually throw out the cards and envelopes separate. So, anyhow. Also at that same store I got some uh, bag of blueberry waffle cookies. Never tried those before. And then at the uh, same store I got these uh, butterfly cookies. Never tried those before. I got five packages of those. And I'm not really sure what this is. This came from a, uh, a gaming store. And it's got a cord wrapped around it so you can plug it in and charge it. It kind of looks like a stump or part of a castle or something. It must, it must light up. I, it's the only thing I can figure. And then at another store that deals in a lot of books and stuff, I got a uh, Amazing Card Tricks set. And I got an Origami Paper Mega Pack book. And uh, I don't know exactly what to do with that. Maybe there's instructions in there somewhere, but anyhow. Another book I got, uh, The Secret Garden by Francis Hodgson Burnett. And uh, I don't know, it says it's a great classic you'll read over and over again, and I'm sure I've heard of it, but I've never read it. It's probably a very classic book. A lot of you probably have read it. So, is it any good? I don't know. Say so if you know so. When I Dream of ABC, got that book. And, uh, oh yeah, oh, I'm getting ahead of myself here. I actually went to a store and I saw this particular card in the dumpster and I thought well I must have it I must see what that is and while I was in there getting it I noticed a couple bags of candy so I started digging and I had to move cosmetic displays away from it and it was kind of a pain in the butt but it was worth it because I started getting in and hit the jackpot of candy. So I got a bunch of crispy M&Ms, I got Twix bars, Twizzlers, Payday bars, more and more M&Ms, Chex Mix, a little bit of Chips Ahoy, some uh, coconut praline pecans, and then I got this other box with even more goodies in it. You see, I got the M&Ms going in there big time. Different kinds, sharing size. Oh, there's some double stuff Oreos. I probably mentioned that. And then I think uh, Star Wars Spearmint Chewing Gum must be. But I got a few of those. A few of those in there. Berry and Nut Clusters. Some of them. Uh, some more greeting cards. Uh... You know you're getting older when you make up in the middle of the night to go to the bathroom. And it's only 10.15. Ah. More, uh, got some Brookside Kit Kat Minis. Got some Tux medicated uh, cooling pads. And then also, the Dual Action Complete Antacid. Got a little sewing thread kit. Futuro Knee Support Brace some tape, some uh, hair stuff, flat iron hairspray, a box of macaroni and cheese, and something that I'm pretty happy about because I got some boots for work the other day and the bottoms are just flat and they're not very comfortable to wear. So I got some heavy duty Dr. Scholl's and uh, well, I'm kind of a heavy duty sort of guy quite that heavy duty but fairly heavy duty so those will be good that's kind of the big thing that I got today 
which you can't really see too well. Uh, I went to a mattress store and I've been kind of keeping an eye on it since my son is sleeping on an aero bed in his new house. There is a uh, full size mattress here and I got a set of full size full size sheets the other day which I showed. You saw those and this mattress doesn't seem too bad and I also got the box spring to go with it and they painted a little brown paint on the edge of it but that's not like a big deal and it seems to be in pretty good shape it seems to be clean so I'll offer it to my son if if he doesn't want it I'll just toss it by a dumpster and it'll go away but if he decides that he does want it we can clean it up and I don't know how we would go about sanitizing it but clean it, sanitize it, make sure it looks pretty good before he uses it. And I've got plenty of uh, Euro toppers that I got from the sweet spot. And I didn't go to the sweet spot today because there was a truck at the store next door unloading. And that dumpster can sometimes be good too. In fact, that was the dumpster that I got those sheets from. So there was a truck unloading there today. I've noticed they have trucks unloading on Fridays quite a bit there. So. Anyhow, I know Fridays is kind of a bad day to go there, so I'll keep that in mind. But uh, anyhow, you two people, that's uh, Captain Lope's little haul of the day. You know, things got pretty sweet this morning. A lot better than I expected them. But you all have a great day, and uh, carpe candy.